Hi, I'm Jessica from Cocoon Apothecary, and I'm going to do um, an ancient mud facial mask. So this product is uh, a combination of dead sea mud, glacial clay, and two essential oils, um, neroli and rose absolute. So I start by usually one cheek. It goes on really nicely, it's really smooth. Um, it feels almost like a, a bomb. It's not gritty, so you don't have to worry about irritating your skin. The reason why we used Dead Sea Mud was my husband and I who formulate everything ourselves. Um, we had tried a lot of clays. There was actually a point where we were selling um, just dry green um, French clay and red clays. And they were really, they were nice, but they never were as active as Dead Sea Mud. When we started, when we discovered Dead Sea Mud, our first order, we started using it. We were like, OMG, this is so active, it feels so major on your skin. Um, not to say like the green clays aren't nice, but they're just, they don't have the same components to them as the Dead Sea mud. Um, as you can see, the Dead Sea mud is really green, really dark green. So that's all microalgae. And microalgae actually um, releases keratin. So you're going to use like amazing antioxidants. As well, the Dead Sea mud has all of the salts from the Dead Sea. And the Dead Sea has more than just sodium chloride. It has all the minerals, magnesium chloride, potassium chloride, calcium chloride, all these minerals that act as antioxidants on your skin, they're so good on your skin. So it's just an extremely powerful ingredient. Um, and then we mix the Canadian glacial clay. And what's marvelous about that is it is such a fine, 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 fine clay that when you open uh, a jar of it, it actually cr like fogs, like mists. It just, it's almost airborne. That's how light it is. So the lighter, the, the smaller the particle, the better penetration, the better um, drawing out of the, the toxins that you want to get out of your pores. So clay um, is amazing because there's an ionic exchange that happens with clays and you know, uh, there's people use it to purify water. Um, it just, it, it has, um, uh, it's positively charged, sorry, negatively charged. So it pulls out the positive charged ions, which is always the um, toxins and pollutants. So um, when you live in a city, especially, you're always getting exhaust. Um, you're always, your skin's getting polluted with it, which has nano, um, mercury, nano lead, those will get into your pores. This is a way of drawing it out. Um, so, and then we put the essential oils in very, very, very small amounts, um, just to put extra, um, um, an antioxidant power, anti-inflammatory power into the formula. And also makes it smell a little bit nicer because it's a very, um, algae smelling type of product. So, what I'm going to do right now is let it dry and come back and take it off. Okay, I'm back and as you can see, I have, um, it's dried. Um, not evenly because as my husband Lane pointed out, um, it's better to wet your face first so everything goes on a little bit more even. I didn't do that. So as you can see, some areas are a little bit like thicker than others and it just, um, and dries evenly but you know it's dry when it is totally uh like it's turned from a dark green to a light green and you can feel on your face like see i'm not as expressive because everything's kind of like you know tight so what i do is i take a face cloth i usually use like the same face cloth because um you don't want your beautiful white face cloths used on this because it can like darken the, it'll stain it. So I use, I always tell people use lukewarm water. I have really sensitive skin and um, hot water is not good for your skin. It can help or it can actually like 
um, break your capillaries and can contribute to redness and irritation. So lukewarm is perfect. Okay, so then gently, gently, as gently as you can, start removing it. So this could take a little, little bit and keep wetting the thought. It can get messy in here, but you know what, it's worth it. Actually, sometimes if you just kind of like go around in circles, you're doing a little bit of a, a micro exfoliation with those, you know, those dried clay particles. So what's happened is my face feels so good right now. It feels so revitalized. Like just, I feel like I just took a layer of age off my face. I'm kind of doing this faster than I usually would because I don't want to bore you. So after um, removing the product with the facial cloth and also splashing water just to get like the extra residue off, um, I also toned with my Rose Dew facial toner and moisturized with Rosy Cheeks facial cream. And my this is my Skin Apre Mask, it feels completely revitalized and rejuvenated and exfoliated, smooth. Um, yeah, I just basically feel like I get a new face when I use Ancient Lead. So this is my once a week routine and um, I absolutely love it.